That's the blessing, I think, of going through life and getting wisdom because America is a version of that the more I leave the country. You okay? Tell we're, me. We're the... We're the... The adolescent. The adolescent. Of Earth. Of, of the, all the countries. Yeah. And I take... When I go to certain places, I'm not... I'm, I'm here as a black man, but when I go to certain places, I'm an American. And... Like We've done American things. is the first identity. The first one they that's how identi they how right. identi identify right. you. But we've done things in other countries, right? That if we knew, we wouldn't be proud of. But as an American, I still take ownership of that and still be like, we number one. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but you think there are things like we should be embarrassed by, like bad practices. Um, like there's a bit of shame associated with it. Yeah, we're not the we're not the best. It's just stuff we don't know about. Right. Yeah. We have good PR. Yeah, we got good PR to ourselves. To ourselves. Good, good propaganda, you know what I mean? The, well, the, the, the propagators of the propaganda are the people. Yeah, so, but... And we all get a radio. <laughs> yeah, we do get a, we get our version of the radio. <laughs> but it's a blessing, it's a blessing in that. But it's still like, oh, it's like when you see the, the video games from other countries and we're the bad guys. But here it, we play video games and we shoot at other right. people that speak other languages. We don't even know where they're from. Right. But then you see them wearing American flags and the, the kids are like, "Get them!" Da, 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 da. You that, like, I didn't know that was a thing. There are video man, games. It's where video games where it's the, it's the opposite, and it's like. But aren't those where are those games being made? Because Call of Duty and all that stuff, that's also part of propaganda. I'm, by the way, when I say propaganda, that's but that's maybe what I'm too saying. Extreme. They got to sell as a business person. They got to sell. To the Russians too. Who the Russians gonna shoot? Russians ain't gonna shoot Russians. Who are you shooting? They gotta shoot us. They're looking at they're looking at the map and being like, let's change it to this. Yeah, let's swap it over. We're gonna put but a is code that true? in here. Is that is it from I've seen footage of, of, of a game where we we are the bad guys. Like we invaded them. And right. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. You know. Right. But it is what it is. <laughs> I've never thought about that. Ain't this crazy? Yeah. My first, because my first time to the Middle East, that's when my first time experiencing being an American. Well, tell me about that. And uh, where were you? I went to Bahrain in two thousand and six uh, to do stand up, and um, you know, being in that, that's not a place. I guess a lot of it's more Africans go than Americans. So when you pull your passport out and it's blue, it's like an extra stare. Like really, like like, and it could be it's for better or for worse. But luckily, because of rap music, it's for the better. The hip hop fans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that that take that has taken us worldwide. But some Africans in other countries have bad reputations. Okay. So it's almost a little relief. But then it's like, wait, are you one of the you you the guy so from you're the saying when they think you're African, if they might think you're African, yeah. there's a set of stereotypes. That no, it's a set of stereotypes. Yeah. What are, I guess I don't want to propagate them, but they're bad. They're, it's negative. It's not stuff. all good in every yeah. place. It's like yeah. like it's the same. Like you know, if you hear a Nigerian scam here. Yeah. And but like Nigerian prince. Yeah, or Nigerian Although, prince, which it could be the both. Is that run by Nigerians? That would be funny if they're if you're a Nigerian doing a scam and they're like, let's give Nigeria a shout out. Yeah, <laughs> like I let's know. make the prince from our country. Nothing else will be traceable back to us, but a little shout out to yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> is everybody princes in Nigeria? Yeah. Did everybody lose their wallet and need? Because uh... <laughs> that <laughs> seems like a scam not made by Nigerians to me. But I got Nigerian like, friends, and they like they do it. The they, scam? They they might uh, you know. Somebody wrote my homeboy one time, and then he he was like, this ain't going to work. I'm Nigerian. And then he was like, oh, well, <laughs> look, we looking for credit card information and all type of stuff. You know what I mean? So Okay, so that is a, okay, that's not a thing, but it's a, it's a stereotype. It's a thing, but I'm an outsider, so. Okay. Are I'm you what? Nigerian? No. Well, DNA-wise. DNA-wise. Um, no, I know. You're, you were born here. Yeah, but I'm, I didn't know. I thought I would be like, God heard I was gone and stuff like that. And but then when it. I did 23 and Me, you did it. it was like Nigerian. And I was like, I called all my Nigerian friends. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you know. Because the first time I wa I remember going to a, a Nigerian house, it was like wa walking into a racist person house almost. The way this family was being? They were racist? One of the uncles who was from Nigeria because I'm American. Oh, he was racist to you. Yeah, he was like, well, you know, who's like jokingly, who let this white man wolf in the house? Really? Because that's the day I found out. That's when I stopped calling myself African American too. And I was like, oh, it's a separate thing because they're African Americans. 
Right. Like, I'm black. You know what I mean? Right. But it was explained to my homeboy. I was like, oh, he's Nigerian. Who don't know he's Nigerian? But then I later found out we're we're all a lot of us are mixed blood. That's what I heard. We're not pure African. So and we're we're a little bit more uh, trained to the American lifestyle. Hence the white man wolf comment. Okay. Yeah. So and then I did my DNA test. And I found out that I'm Nigerian and Sierra Leone and like Cong- Congolese and like all these things. But then I'm like, oh, I'm mixed with people that people don't like. Who got with the bad reputations, should I say? Um, Nigerian, who got bad reputations. Um, uh, 15% European, German, who got bad reputation. French, you know how they are. <laughs> uh, uh, Irish. Okay. Um, and then I'm a smidget Iranian too, and I'm like, damn, there's a lot of fucking going on in my in my DNA. And before the internet, that's the dis- all there was. Yeah, but the discovery of it is like, I'm like, well, we pat, well, we like passed around. It's just a thing I'm still trying to figure out, like how did these all these mixtures happen? Right. But I know my name is like Irish and, and Celtic Welsh and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So there's lots of different. It's interesting how different groups are racist to other groups. So you're saying well, everybody's to me racist. Africans are racist towards well, they're racist amongst Americans. themselves because East and West not, not as a whole, but the, this house you went into. Tell me what you're what the East and West are have issues, some underlying issues. East African, West African, yeah, have some underlying issues. Right. This um, is. I was actually just thinking about this, not, not as a movie, but I was like, white people, right, that are xenophobic and racist and. De- aggressively nationalistic, right? Like the race war people. Yeah. Let's say, let's jump 150 years after a horrible thing into the future. Now it's just white people in this weird, like I'm saying like, just play it out. What do you want to happen? Spiritually, go to the past. Go to when- Or, or go to the past. When when the, the Irish landed or when the but Italians landed. But that's my point. That's yeah. my point. Like you just find another way. Yep. Race to me is just the laziest because it's overt. It's, yeah. it's a skin color. And it's a culture and it's a food and it's a, a different clothing and all these things that are so obvious. So what we really don't like is separateness and, and unknown. I, I'm, not, I'm saying obviously it can go deeper than that. Yeah. But if it all is just all white people and, and your plan worked and now it, it does look like 1941 or whatever, even though obviously there were d- diverse different groups there too, but let's say it's all white people. Yeah. You'd still find another way. It happens. It's Irish. That's it's my Protestant. Thing. It's Protestant. It's Catholic. It's left-handed. That's it's, my. That's what I. That's my observation. It's like yeah. even because I, I I had the the joke about it's people you don't like in your own family and they look like you. That's well. That's exactly they just might my wear point. glasses or they yes. they make they macaroni and cheese a little different. You know, Give me, or they use ghee instead of butter. You're right, like, man, right. fuck them. My, That's what I'm saying. Is there some, You can say whatever you want. There's okay. something going on that we have something about ourselves that we hate. Yeah. And it's so uncomfortable to hold on to it that I project it onto anyone. Yeah. And even if there are other people that look like me, for me, of course, yeah. if they look like me, it's almost easier because you know they're dumb fucks just like me. I'm like, look at this dumb yeah. fuck filled with rage, filled with hate, yeah. filled with shame, filled with guilt. And then I'd start a. What I'm saying is. But that's what makes a being an adult fun because you know now that everybody got this shit in them. The, so the uh, older you get, you really just don't care about nothing when you get back in that, that phase again because you know that like, the world is full of shit. You, you're saying getting to a certain age and admitting instead yeah, of pretending being, like it's yeah, not happening. Yeah, and coming to grips with that. Coming to grips, you got it's coming to grips with like your your part of you that's full of shit. Yes. Like when my girl said I'm immature and I'm like, okay, uh, thanks for the discovery. I'm going to play with this. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. And coming to grips with that and the brain, it's something peaceful about it. Of course. But then you, have, you accept that in other people and there's something peaceful about that. Precisely. Yep. When you remove the burden of knowing everything for yourself, you can relax and other people don't need to know everything either. And then we're all just kind of swimming around in the same soup. You ain't with-